G'day team. Hope you're doing well. And I really hope you're doing better than yesterday. Um, as stated on previous videos, these are these videos are kind of like journal entries for me, form of um, self-healing. Um, I look forward to looking back on these videos to see how I've progressed, how I've um, how I've done well with mental health challenges. That's the plan. Hope you can do something similar. Previous video, um, <clears throat> I spoke about um, the importance of connection, especially with interstate mates. I went interstate and caught up with a friend that was doing uh, not so well. Thankfully, he's doing a lot better now. Sometimes we uh, need to reach out uh, to those that we miss and love and just check on them. So that was pretty good. Good result uh, from myself going and seeing a very close old mate. This video is um, a reminder of how swiftly things can change for the better. I think I posted a video here only four, no more than five weeks ago where I was struggling, like I was uh, not doing well at all. And uh, you'd be able to see that in the video. I've revisited that video and I've gone, wow, I was, I've come a long way in such a short period of time in a positive way. So in connection with that, we need to zoom out. I like that term, zoom out. What do I mean by that? Well, a few years ago, I uh, decided to invest in Bitcoin. Uh, this was following divorce, separation. I was $20,000 in debt. And uh, anyway, I'll talk about that, the specifics around that on another video. But if you look at the stock market, if you look at Bitcoin on a day-to-day hour-by-hour sort of basis, um, it can be frustrating because you're not seeing any sort of positive um, return, if you like. But if you zoom out and look at the performance of your stock, for example, over a period of months, weeks, months, and even years, often you can see some really good upward swing. Mm, not, maybe that's not the right term, but I think you know what I mean. And we need to do that with ourselves and our, and our health, especially our mental health. Uh, zoom out and uh, have a look at what you've achieved over the last four, six, eight weeks, so on. Try not to get too bogged down on the uh, hourly frame or the daily frame. I hope that makes sense. Um, what else? Mm, there are five things recently that have made a real positive impact on my mental health. I just want to run through them. Avoiding alcohol has been a big one. I haven't had a single drop in just over two weeks. Um, I'm pretty proud about that. That one thing alone has made a, a real positive impact on my day-to-day -day well-being. I wonder if alcohol's uh, been a been a problem with yourself. All the best tackling that one. The other thing is daily exercise. I've been training every day. Um, combination of cardio and weight training. Um, and uh, geez, I'm feeling good. I'm losing a little bit of weight now, which is good. And just feeling more upbeat thanks to exercise. Um, another one is regu regular connection with close mates. That's a really important one. Uh, you know, minimum twice a week, I, I reach out to a particular mate and um, we chew the fat. I no longer have a victim mentality. It's very easy to have a victim mentality, isn't it? I like to think I no longer have that and that is also making a very positive impact. Another one is, I mentioned on a video, the importance of us reconnecting with a hobby, something we used to love doing, something uh, you know, on our days off that gets us out of bed and uh, doing something productive. And for me, that's skydiving. I did my actual skydive jump, uh, CEST. It's called a currency jump. That took place yesterday. I was pretty nervous, but um, it went well. <laughs> so I'm flying again, literally. That's about it for now. Um, 
I'm 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 very lucky at the moment. I'm I'm seeing some positive change, and I hope these videos uh, allow others out there to also um, experience positive change through applying some of the things I've spoken about. God bless. All the very best. See you. See you again soon.